हाई गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड ऑल ऑफ यू हु आर न्यू टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल हाई गाइज आई एम शिर अग्रवाल एंड आई एम हेयर टू एंटरटेन यू विद माई फैशन एंड ब्यूटी टिप्स ऑल्सो गाइज इफ यू हैव इन सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एट प्लीज डू इट राइट नाउ इट विल मीन दी एब्सोल्यूट वर्ल्ड टू मी सो इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गुन टू रिव्यू के ब्यूटी प्रोडक्ट्स एंड आई नो यू ऑल लव के ब्यूटी आई हैव सीन मैनी पीपल रिविंग अबाउट इट सो आई थॉट वाई नॉट जस्ट डू अ लिटिल हॉल फ्रॉम माई साइड सो बेसिकली गाइज आई हैव अप्लाइड ऑल द प्रोडक्ट्स इन द वीडियो सो दैट यू कैन सी हाउ ब्लेंडेबल दे आर वॉच द पिगमेंटेशन एंड ऑल द स्मॉल स्मॉल डिटेल्स दैट वी नीड बिफोर बाइंग एनी मेकअप प्रोडक्ट सो येस गाइज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बाय प्रोडक्ट्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी द रिव्यू दैन जस्ट गो forward and watch it starting off with my first product i am going to use the k beauty foundation and this is how the product looks like and i am in the shade 130y let's review this one by applying it on my face and see what the result is for the packaging i would say it's a really really good one like it's a very sturdy product the packaging is of glass bottle and a plastic cap which is also like very sturdy and it's not like a flimsy one so yeah kudos for this thing as you can see the foundation is like not very liquid it's not running it's of a very perfect consistency that we all look for now let's start blending it so i'll just use my dotting motion Also guys I've just taken a drop of it because we need to see ki how much buildable this foundation is so for that reason I'll just take drop by drop and see how much coverage it is giving in a drop So this is how I'm blending this foundation and you can see ki abhi it has not given me even an inch of coverage like it's a very very sheer foundation guys and i don't appreciate this thing because um as per the price it's around 1200 so i would expect a little bit of coverage when i'm using it with one drop and i don't see any coverage as per that amount yeah I don't know maybe on camera you guys can see a lot of coverage but when you will see me in real life the coverage is not at all good also guys for giving this foundation a very fair chance i have prepped my skin i have used all kind of primers that i use and also i have uh, corrected my face like i always use an orange corrector before any foundation so yeah i have also little bit applied that before my foundation so yeah there is nothing which i have not given a fair chance so according to that i feel that the coverage is very very sheer very minimal and for a product which is 1200 i think um, no i won't buy and uh, yeah like if you are into very sheer coverage which is like not even um, close to bb cream i wouldn't feel ki you should buy and yeah because on camera i can see a lot of coverage has been shown but in real life there is no coverage at all trust me guys so yeah let's just take another drop of it and then see i have taken another drop now and let's just work with it also it's a little dark for me but yeah it's fine we can work it's like 130y i think i should have taken like a one shade lighter for my skin and it would have worked better but anyways the coverage is the main thing which we all look for and yeah so we are blending it for the second time So this is the second blend. I guess on um uh, camera the coverage is really really good but in real life the coverage is not good at all. So 
this product is not a good mm -hmm. like the hydration level of this foundation is great for people who have dry skin they can definitely go for it but according to the coverage which we all look for it's not at all good also guys i have already used a corrector before which means that i should have uh, a fair chance of using this foundation little less because whenever you use a corrector your foundation uh, quantity reduces because obviously you already have a product layered before which almost hides your uh, pigmentation because yeah orange corrector is something which suits my skin a lot and most of my flaws are just reduced by it so if I use any other foundation I just need to apply it for a fair base and I'm done but with this one I've already applied like two coats and still the coverage is not that good so yeah for me it's a no-no and also the price is very much like 1200 for a product which you need to use a lot no guys i wouldn't suggest so the final review for me is that I wouldn't suggest this product because firstly um, you have to use a lot of it to build it up and it's a very sheer to medium coverage. I won't even say medium coverage because it's very very sheer. It's just like you have put a CC cream or a BB cream. In fact I feel BB cream has more pigmentation than this one. The second thing is that this product is too expensive like 1200 for a foundation i am not saying it 1200 for a foundation is uh, a lot but for a foundation which is sheer to medium coverage and not even medium then why to spend 1200 on such a product so yeah a no no from my side and lastly guys that you have to use a lot of it just to build it up so i don't think there is point in uh, using such a product like i have more foundations which are uh, lesser than this and works really really well like the nika skin shield foundation even the lacme 90 to five range those products are so so good in pigmentation and also the kind of coverage that they give that this would fail in front of them so yeah a no-no from my side for the k beauty foundation talking about the second product from k beauty is this loose powder and trust me guys this is such a great great product i used to use the laura mercier earlier but that was like a very expensive product so yeah whenever i used to use it i feel so bad like bohut jaldi finish jayega kind of a feeling i used to have in me but now guys i'm so so drooled over over this product that i do not mind using that any further mind it guys i used to use it and now i'm shifting it to this which is a very very rare thing to find because laura mercier is a powder no body can substitute but this one has actually done the job for me and I'm really really happy with this product so yeah and it's a very finely milled powder which is a great thing because it does not dry out your under eyes and it sets your whole makeup so so well so yeah let's just try it this is how it looks from inside I don't know if you are able to see or not but this is how it looks and uh, i always use it with a damp sponge this is my way of using you can use anything so i just take the product on my beauty blender and i'm just gonna place it under my eyes Also guys if I forgot to tell you this is the shade banana which I am using and there are like around 4 to 5 shades which is a very very good thing. So everybody can have their own shades and which is a I think very uh, rare to find and this one does the job and it's very light on skin as well like the maybelline one also i used to use earlier that one has a very thick consistency though that one is also very finely milled but it's very thicker and i don't like that consistency but this one has a very very light uh, consistency and i like such powders because i don't like that heaviness onto my face and this one is perfect for me also guys I'm not a baking person at all I just like to 
place the powder and set my makeup and I don't like to bake and keep it for so many minutes and do everything else is not my thing at all I just like to place the powder and just lock my makeup because I have a very very oily skin and just for that reason I just place the powder everywhere and uh, make it look matte and this is the finish guys So I think this one is a perfect powder also it's within the range this one retails for 800 and according to the shade the price range also varies like all are for 800 but you have 20% off on some 30% on for some 10% off on some so I don't know why Nykaa does that ki jo products where they feel ki the sale is less they uh, discount they put them on discount and the products which have a high rate of selling they don't put any discount on them I don't know what's the matter so yeah and right now the banana one is for exact 800 there is no discount but it's fine guys like uh, it's a 10 gram product and I'm also using it for quite a while and it haven't finished for me and I use makeup a lot and this is my holy grail so I don't use any other product so yeah if I can use it for such a long time like it's been over uh, six months I believe that I'm using this powder and nothing has happened like happened in the sense that nothing it's not finished at all also the product uh, packaging is very good like it's not flimsy it has a nice cap you have like holes over here from which the powder comes out very easily and this plastic thing is also not very cheap looking so yeah the packaging is very very good so yeah this would get like 8 on 10 from my side and it's like pretty pretty good rating guys so if you are looking for a nice loose powder then go for the k-beauty one my last product from k-beauty is this k-beauty blush and guys trust me this is such an underrated product because i have not seen a lot of people using it i myself was not in the uh, what you can say in the favor of buying it i just got it accidentally like i did a mystery box challenge so yeah i can just put it any somewhere here and you can go and check that as well so in that challenge my best friend gave me this product and from then guys you won't believe i'm so drooled over this product because firstly you can see the packaging is so so great very minimal very me and the secondly i'll show you the product from inside firstly you can see guys you have this whole foam thing which can protect your product very nicely and then you can see the packaging from inside oh god looks so luxurious and doesn't even feel like it's from a drugstore thing i don't know k beauty falls in luxury or drugstore but i feel it is a drugstore one because the rates are not like too high for a product so yeah this is how the packaging is and the details guys see this like whatever color you chose you have the same base or color on it so which is like uh, I feel these are like small small details if people work upon gives a very classy look to your product so I am using the shade dusty rose and I'll show you the packaging from inside so this is how the product from inside is you have a full mirror over here and then the whole pan and the pan is also of a very decent size so you can use it for a very very long time so now i'm just going to show you how you need to take it like i'm taking a very little amount and i'm just dusting that as well because this is that pigmented and i'll just put a little bit and guys you can see can you see in just one uh, stroke you get so much of pigmentation so I feel I just need to dust it a little more and just blend it whatever is left on the brush and you are done this is so pigmented see guys so so pigmented I don't think you need more than this 
so yeah it will go for a very very long time so the gist for this product is that firstly guys it has a great packaging very luxurious and you all know i love packaging which is of that kind and i would love to buy such products so yeah secondly the pigmentation is great thirdly the color range is amazing uh, it is like suitable for all skin tones and lastly guys the pan is also of a very decent uh size so yeah it will last you for around a year i feel because as the pigmentation is more you don't need to take a lot of product and you can just work upon it and use a very little and just blend it out very beautifully like how i have done over here so yes guys these are the four points which i feel are uh, must in a product and all of it is there in it so why not just take it and use it for your lifetime This product also retails for rupees 800 like the previous loose powder but guys trust me you can get them on discount like whenever you have Nike sale going on because i think uh, my friend when gifted me this also took on discount i guess the by 600 ka tha i believe so yeah why not just grab it whenever you see there is a Nike sale going on That's it for today and I really hope you enjoyed this tiny tiny haul and review from my side also guys if you want me to come up with more such brands more such reviews more such detailed reviews then please guys do subscribe and also please do like share and comment below that will mean the world to me and also guys agar aap subscribe nahi karoge to main aur sare itne products kahan se laungi abhi to i bought it recently to maine aap logo ko dikha diya but still guys if If you want me to come up with more variety then please do subscribe and it will be advantageous for you all as well and also guys subscribing is free so why not do it right now till then bye bye love you